Well, hello there, friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kira. I share mostly vlogs on lifestyle, beauty, fashion, some luxury fashion, capsule wardrobe building, shopping for basics, and all of that good stuff. So if that interests you, then please do hit subscribe and stick around. I would love to have you back for more videos. It has been a hot minute since I've done a bag review video. I have quite a few lined up that I've been meaning to talk about, and I'm gonna make these videos as short and snappy as possible. I personally I personally love watching bag review videos when I'm making a purchase. They really help inform my decision. So hopefully I can help you guys out a bit. So for today's video, we are doing a review of the much loved Saint Laurent Sac Du Jour. To summarize, I think that the souple version or the supple version of the Saint Laurent Sac Du Jour is an excellent, excellent buy. I'm going to pop links in the description below of all the places that I can find that you can get this bag. It is worth shopping around because different retailers do different offers. The Sac Du Jour style itself has been around for 10 years and it is definitely regarded as a modern classic. It's not as old as the Birkin or, you know, the Louis Vuitton Speedy, but it definitely in modern days has become a classic, classic bag. The Sac Du Jour is a bag that a lot of luxury collectors will recommend to people as their first purchase. It is generally regarded as a really, really good buy. So given that it's been around for a decade and it's a much loved classic, as you can imagine, there are so many videos on the Sac Du Jour up on YouTube already. However, what I have noticed is that there are not very many videos at all about the souple style. And even though it kind of looks the same, there are some differences that I really think you should take into account when you're making your purchase. I personally think that you should go for the souple style as opposed to the more regular structured version, uh, which the Sac Du Jour usually comes in. I'm gonna start off just by giving you another look at the bag. As you can see, this is in the black grained or pebbled leather. I'm gonna give you a real close up. Now, I have not wiped this bag. I have not cleaned it. I have not so much as dusted it in, I don't know how long. I think that she still looks fantastic. In case I forgot to mention, this is the baby Sac Du Jour size. They come in roughly three sizes. You have the Nano, which is smaller than this, the baby, which is this size, and then the small. And it's very confusing because you would think small would be the smallest, but really it goes nano, baby, small. And the small is actually not small at all. The small is a large bag. It's almost like a tote. Makes no sense, but that's just how the French do it. I purchased this bag in May of 2019 and I bought it on Farfetch. And I got a really good deal on this bag, which is rare for Saint Laurent Sac Du Jour bags especially in black, because they're just so classic. I'm gonna put this down for a second because I feel like my arm is gonna already get tired. I got it for 1,505 euro. It was on offer on Farfetch. I think they were running a sale because I believe I used a 10% off code on top of that. Um, Farfetch is one of the shops that offers 10% off a lot of items with an email sign up, like with your first purchase. Um, so that's a good one to keep in mind. But the original retail for it at that time was 2,150. And now checking on the website, they're going for 2,200. So since 2019, there has not been much of a price increase. Like 50 euros is fine in the grand scheme of things. And um, whereas other designers have been increasing the prices of their bags a lot more. So it hasn't gone up too much, which is great. That was a discount of like 650 euros, which is massive. So I was absolutely delighted. I went for the souple style without really knowing too much about it. And the idea behind the souple is it's basically, I mean, it's French for supple, it's softer. It is a less structured bag. It's still made from the same like amazing quality leather. Three years on, the bag still looks fantastic. And that's something that I'm so happy about because when I did first get it, um, I was a little bit worried that maybe the souple leather wasn't going to be as sturdy. So if you are looking at the souple style and you're worried about the wear and tear over time, it's absolutely fine. I think this is a fantastic everyday bag size. If it was any bigger, I would be filling it up too much and I would probably be lugging around too much. And I can really comfortably use the crossbody strap with this baby size. Like it doesn't feel like the bag is too big or too heavy. However, if this bag was any smaller, it might not have enough room for all my essentials. I'm gonna quickly show you what's in it. So we've got one of my pouches with some makeup, a hair stick and a plaster. I have my wallet, which is the Coach Tabby um, little wallet here. I have one of the spray sun creams, which actually should be in my pouch. 
I also have my case for my Invisalign that I have on my teeth. And then I have a little dental kit for my Invisalign with like mouthwash and mini toothbrushes and stuff. And the inside of it, you can probably see the inside of it is dirty. Like she needs, she really needs a Hoover at this stage. There's also a packet of airwaves in there, which I will keep. So while some of the sac du jours are completely open like this, some have a partition in the middle, whereas the souple style tend to come with this little pouch. So this is a canvas and leather uh, pouch, pops into these buttons here. So if you want, you can have an interior pouch separator, but the separator doesn't go down to the bottom, if that makes sense. So like, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose, I think, in the baby size anyway. So I don't use the pouch. Um, to be honest with you, the pouch has been in a drawer for the past probably year. Uh, another way I like to wear this bag is I pop open these um, little straps here and I just think it makes it look really kind of casual and like nonchalant or something. It gives me like Birkin energy. So I think that the Saint Laurent Sac du Jour bag is probably one of the best, if not the best, everyday designer bags. If you're looking for something to invest in that you can basically get your cost per wear out of, I would say it's something like this. And the reason why I think the souple style is better than the structured style for an everyday bag, the souple style, the softer, supple style, just makes it look that little bit more like casual, cool vibe. Some people might not like like this some people might not like the like rippling in the bag or you know the way you can kind of see these folds here I absolutely love this I feel like sometimes with designer bags there is this pressure to have them looking like box fresh forever and we're a little bit like precious with them and I totally understand when you're spending money on something you want to take care of it you want it to last for as long as possible however I personally love a slightly lived in look on a bag. I feel like it speaks to that kind of understated, like quiet luxury that is just something that's really, really good quality that you've probably had for a long time. And I think the souple style of these bags really gives me that energy. I feel like the bag never looks like it's tired or worn out. The slouch gives it that slight lived in look. This has had three years of almost everyday use like it's an excellent everyday bag the leather is perfect like it's slouched in the way that it was always going to but it still holds itself perfectly like the logo on the front is just as clear and perfect as it was the day i got it the hardware hasn't tarnished in the slightest bit i've had no problems with the straps like everything is perfect you've got a little bit of weaving here but that was always going to happen with the souple style and you can see here there's a little bit of a weave as well i mean if you religiously stuffed this bag when you were not wearing it it might get rid of it but honestly it's part of the bag that i like i think it gives it that kind of worn in character and I just I just adore it I think it's so cool the only thing that I would say in terms of wear is that the interior has like you know bits of dust and stuff in it but that's for me not cleaning out my bag so that's just I just need to give it a hoover and then it'll be fine it doesn't have the metal feet on the bottom but it still sits really really nicely on a table it still has that nice like fullness here it never looks like flippy floppy if that makes sense now granted I do put enough in it I think if you put nothing in this it might feel a little bit more um like empty whereas obviously the structured bags no matter what you put in them they're going to hold their structure so I'm going to include some try on shots so you can see what this bag looks like on my frame just for reference I am about 585 nine I would wear like a UK size eight to ten and I love how this looks with basically every outfit I think blazers um you know jeans chinos I love how it looks with a little dress as well so I wouldn't use this as like a night out bag because obviously it's quite big but basically any daytime outfit whether you're going somewhere a bit dressier or somewhere a bit more casual I feel like it fits in for both really really well I love this souple style of sac du jour so so much that I would absolutely love to get it in another color in another size. There is a brown version in the souple style with the grained leather, which again, I trust will wear just as well as this has. And it's in this beautiful tan color. There's a gorgeous photo of Rosie Huntington Whiteley wearing it. And it just is so stunning. And it just gives such beautiful Birkin vibes. Like it's not imitating a Birkin, but it just gives that structured, but also kind of slouchy energy. I can see that the souple style is getting more and more popular, but I really wanted to do a dedicated video on it. I'm going to pop links in the description below of all 
all the places that I can find that you can get this bag. It is worth shopping around because different retailers do different offers. I'll also link the beautiful tan colorway as well. I'll also put some links to this bag on the pre-loved market as well if you're interested because that's usually a way of getting it for an even better price as well. To summarize, I think that the souple version or the supple version of the Saint Laurent Sac du Jour is an excellent excellent buy. I absolutely love it and I have worn it non-stop for the last few years. Um, I have nothing quite like it in my wardrobe so it's kind of just my go-to everyday bag and then when I want something more structured or I want something for let's say an evening look I have other bags that I go to but this one is just kind of like my foolproof everyday bag that I grab and I just know that it always looks good with everything and it feels really understated but it's still just a really really beautiful bag. So yeah I think I've covered everything that there is to know about the Souple Sac du Jour. I will include the exact dimensions in the description um, because I can't remember what they are but they'll all be listed below and if you have any other questions about this bag please do let me know in the comments. I would also love to know if you're a Sac du Jour fan do you have the souple? Do you have the structured version? Are you on one side or the other? I'd really, really love to know what you think. I will also link below and on screen some other luxury bag videos that I've done. I've got quite a few on my channel already, specifically vintage Louis Vuitton. There's some Gucci ones in there. Um, and I have a list of bags to get through because I haven't filmed these in a while. So if you enjoyed this video, there is lots more coming. So once again, do hit subscribe, stick around, and I would love to have you back for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Thank you.